oven on the on the range, and the the burner is located <coughs> underneath the oven rack. Let's get a, let's get a light and, and uh, they illuminate it. So there are three things about this. One, you have to have one of the you have to have one of the um, stovetop burners um, going to get the gas flow. You have to put one finger on the safety and then depress the oven to the light position. And then there's a little pilot right in here and it doesn't always light right away. But it usually start, starts sputtering. So, so the oven has, to, I mean the, the stove actually has to be on. Yes, the stove top has to have a burner. Can so it you takes see? a second for it to go, yeah. Can I you see. see the pilot light? Yeah. Okay. Now, so that's the first secret. One hand, two buttons. Second secret is, let it sit there for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds and to warm the up. To thermal coupler. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. That was a nice accent. And then? Ah, the flame starts to get a little bit bigger. And you can very gently... Okay, we're, we're going to take a chance now and let up on the safety, okay? But I still have the... I still have the light... On, okay. ...in the light position. And if I let go of that now, I think it's been long enough. Okay. No hands. Yeah. Pilot is lit. Then turn it to any position, and you will see in a few seconds, gradually the flame will propagate all along the burner element there. And then you set the temperature to whatever you want. Okay. This is described in the book, too, isn't it? In, in the mm -hmm. manual? Probably. Because I know we've done it. I just, if you had asked me, I, there's no, I would have had no way to do it. So the the key of it is, remember that this little device here, that's the thermal couple. Okay. And the pilot light is right behind it. Okay. Where I'm pointing. Yeah. And and that's the key is, you know, if you try to light anywhere along here, it's not going to start. You got to hit the pilot right about back there. I but, see. But. Um, you can see it's relatively easy. Okay, there you go. Now I just saw a little spurt okay. of the ass. Okay. So, <clears throat> making toast, you, I put it all the way up to the highest setting. Mm -hmm. I put a slice of bread on the broiler rack mm -hmm. and uh, cook it on one side and then cook it on the other side. It's not the most efficient way of making toast. Probably that probably uses way too much gas. But. Like you, could, you could make it in a pan or something. You yeah, you could do it that it. way. Yeah. Invention there we the, go. The world there is go. waiting for a 12 volt toaster. I yeah. don't think it exists yet. I see, so it's it's really an indirect heat is what you're getting off of yeah. that because it heats up. Oh, you have Nah, I'm putting it right there. In okay. Okay. I got you. Okay. End of the show.